Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and I, ladies and gentlemen, found a 40-ounce nugget. I couldn't believe it. A 40-ounce nugget when in the front loader down there. Um, I wasn't recording at the time when it happened because it just flashes by so quickly, but oh, man, that was cool. So, you know, with that 40-ounce nugget, and we have another clean-out to do. It is, uh, we have about 27 minutes until it hits midnight. If I could get this clean out to done and go cash in the gold and sell it and make $300,000 in the process, we could buy the old Arnold parcel and we don't have to pay 20% of our gold. I don't know. I don't know if I can get that done in time, but I'm going to try. So, uh, let's get this party started and see what we can get done here. Cause, oh, oh the other thing I was going to tell you too is gold at the moment is at the highest I've seen it. Uh, so that's another reason why we should get on this right away. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get this thing cleaned out in record time. Uh, lots of lots of breakdowns and stuff um, happened. Uh, during this last session, uh, all of my trommel rollers uh, pretty went, went belly up, these little roller thingies here. And I was... Um, I repaired, I, I was repairing them one at a time, but then I realized that when one goes out, the rest of them are just about ready to go out too. So I just bought a whole set uh, and replaced them all. So uh, that's been taken care of. Let's see, I got a message that lightning struck my power generator, but it didn't seem to di cause any problems. So I don't know what that was about. As far as I can tell, it didn't cause any problems anyways. Because uh, everything still seems to be working. And let's see, we had a hydraulic hose go out. We had, uh, all, I, I've eventually placed, uh, or replaced rather, all of the duplex jig pumps. So those all had to be done. And yeah, we're making pretty good progress here. Uh, so let's put this in front of the magnetite separator. Well, uh, <coughs> excuse me, disconnect those. So we're not wasted water. We're going to grab all of the duplex jig buckets and stage those. <coughs> Excuse me, in front of the magnetite separator. Uh, speaking of which, I have 67% magnetite too, which is pretty good. And then uh, we'll have to clean out our mosses. And I actually, actually have to go back up and um, change out the power connection up here real quick. So let's get that done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we want to take the work light out. I need to set up a power splitter down below so I don't have to keep doing this, but I just haven't wanted to stop all, all, all day, you know, just keep this mine going. All right, so that takes care of that. Now let's uh, start grabbing the mosses. We'll put the little ones in first and get those knocked out. And then we will do the big... Mosses. It's the mosses that take the most amount of time uh, doing this, but it sure is fun. Though. I'm I'm just really enjoying this game. Getting pretty good. Well, you know, by by my standards, anyways. <laughs> uh, and the front loader, very getting very comfortable with it now, and moving that dirt pretty quickly. You know, like it's it's this is true for the excavator too, but it's all about positioning, man. If you can get the dump truck. Uh, in a good position and you're not fighting ground and stuff, you can really crank that out quickly. Uh, let's go ahead and put a moss in here too. Uh, so we're going to grab and get rid of these grills here. I wish there was like a little rack that you could put these on. I just have to kind of toss them wherever. And we'll grab that one. Okay, so we're ready to do our first moss washing. Um, what did I forget to do? Oh, I forgot to turn the wash machines on. I changed the plug out, but I got to turn them on. So, magnetite, wave table, and gold nuggetator. Yeah, I don't know what the deal was with lightning has struck your power generator. It didn't like to cause any problems at all that I could tell. So that was kind of weird, but 
unless it struck the mobile generator, but that's inside the shed, so that would be very unusual if that's actually what happened. Okay, I just take these mosses. I, I got myself a little system here now, um, so I basically just take these mosses and chuck them right down on the ground. Probably wouldn't do that in real life, but this isn't real life. It's a simulator game. And then while we're still waiting for that, we're going to run this over here. I thought about maybe getting a smaller box for this just because that was kind of big and clunky. All right, we'll turn those off and put the hog pen mats back. We just got to move quickly here because if, I, if I'm going to be able to make $300,000 and pay this off, I got to do it before midnight. Of course, I don't know if that's... um. I don't know if we pay that rent in arrears or in advance. Actually, we probably pay it in arrears. So even if I do buy it, I probably still have to pay for this day's rent now that I think about it. But we'll just um we'll see if we can get to 300 grand before midnight. I don't know if we will be able to or not. It's going to be fairly close, but I don't even if we don't, I don't want to get into a situation where I'm completely out of money again. Of course, you know this is my ace in the hole right here, that 67% magnetite. You know, that's probably, I don't know, 60, 70 grand right there or more. So, um, you know, we, we, we always have that option if we have to. It's not really the best way to spend it, though, though, uh, at least not at this point in the game. The best way to spend it is to get the upgrades for the blacksmith. Uh, we have an extra clean moss here. I'll put that there. Load these guys in here. And uh, is that four? One, two, three. There's a fourth one. Where did it go? Wait. One, two, three. Yeah, what happened? Oh, here it is. So we can, those can be hard to see, man, sometimes. Okay, let's go grab... All the moss is off of this side now. Get the grates out of the way. Grills, grates. Okay, we are good to go, and our bucket is at 53%. I don't usually keep the same bucket down there for all the mosses because I usually go over just a little bit so we'll put a, a new bucket down there after this batch is over because we don't want to waste anything when it comes to gold you don't want to waste anything there you go okay we'll shut that off bring this over here set it down in front of the magnetite separator and this will just be a little little bucket uh, whoops. Oh, actually, we need to put a couple more up here, don't we? Or four more up here. Now, while we're waiting for that, let's get these grills back on this side. I'm going to, at some point, I'm going to time myself doing this to see how fast I can actually do it. I'm getting, you know, getting faster at it like everything else as we improve. Okay, so we got another 19% bucket out of that. That's actually pretty good. Now this, we must have been in some, some rich gold over there. Uh, okay, let's take this back and, oops. I gotta pull the mosses out. Get those out of there. I could even. What time is it? Twenty-three forty-three. Yeah, you know, I could finish these up later. I just gotta remember to do it. So let's just stick those there for now, and get to going on this part. See how much more magnetite we can get. So we're starting it with 67%. And we'll dump that right in there at 40%. Do the next bucket. This is going to be a little one. And 
and put that there. Throw that over that way. Let's start this. Yeah, the more I think about this, it makes sense that we're going to have to pay rent for today because he gets a take of, of what you pulled in for that day. So even if I do hit, you know, 300 grand and we we buy it, we're still technically uh, going to have to pay rent for today, I think, unless the game doesn't work that way. We'll see how much we have left over because I don't want to be in the hole again. Oh. I don't think that this actually spills your gold on the ground if there's not a bucket there, but I'm just uh, not going to take any chances. I, it, I, I, it would in real life unless there was some kind of sensor down there, but there probably wouldn't be on something like this. Okay, dump that in there. And it looks like we have one more bucket here to go in the separator. All right, let's let that finish up. We'll put our buckets back while we're waiting. Okay, so we ended up with 179 ounces and change. Don't think that's enough to get us to 300 grand. I don't think it could be, because the prices are pretty good right at the moment. Uh, yeah, we'll put a bucket there, and we'll put a bucket here. A bucket. I keep an extra bucket down there, and this one goes back up by this first sluice box here. Okay, so let's turn everything off here. 23.47. It is getting close. Oh, you know what? There's no way I'm going to be able to do this because I still have to wait for the... Ah, oh, crap. I have to wait for the blacksmith to to do the actual smelting. So, uh, that being the case, maybe we should just sleep. And then we'll go in in the morning, pay our rent. I would try it if I could, but there's no way. <laughs> there's no way the blacksmith's going to be able to do all that gold before midnight i mean we have 12 minutes so okay well that being the case then why don't we um go ahead and sleep we'll just pay our rent for that the the previous day and then uh we'll go into town and just see where we're at because we don't i don't think we'll have to pay any rent if we don't make any gold so in other words if if we still can make 300 grand after we pay today's rent and then buy the parcel then we won't have to pay more rent or even if we do it won't be very much i don't know if that made sense to you guys but it did in my mind okay let's sleep till dawn wow <laughs> he took us a hundred and seven ounces of our gold you guys we pulled in so much gold holy moly 107 ounces. We have got to buy this place. That's just painful. Oh, man. What does that leave us with? 71 friggin' ounces. Oh. Okay, well, you know, it is what it is. I, I pulled a heck of a lot of gold off this property yesterday. Uh, yesterday, in-game day. Uh, let's look at the prices. 1214. Yeah, it's still pretty high. I think we should go sell what we have at least and see where that puts us. And then um, I don't think we really need anything else from town at the moment. So let's go sell what we have and, like I said, see where that puts us, and then we'll do our next move. But I'm going to really be gunning to get this, you know, buy this place today. So we have a lot more dirt to dig. Oh, man, I can't believe he took that much gold from us. <laughs> ah. That's so much gold. 107 ounces. Ouch. And, you know, 
I, I drilled on this parcel, so I know there's still some pretty rich ground left, and therefore, I think it's definitely going to be worth it for us to purchase it. All right, guys, let's sell our gold here. Uh, I want to look at. Oh my goodness, this is six hundred thousand, not three hundred thousand. Why was I thinking it was six hundred thousand? I mean three. <laughs> 300,000. Crap. Okay. Um. Well, all of my uh, finagling from earlier wouldn't have done us any good anyways. My goodness, 600,000. Okay. I don't know why I was thinking that was 300,000. But anyway, we, we can't do that right now. We're just going to have to bite the bullet and keep giving Arnold 20% of our take for now. Anyway, let's sell our gold bars. Um, we're we're going to get 82 grand from that, which is nice. And uh, so, whoops, i got to select it. And that gets us up to 188,000. Oh, man, why was I thinking that was 300,000? Is there, look how much Old Glen, or no, uh, what's this? Rivertown. 1.2 million. Pine Valley is 1.8. Nighthawk is 2.4 million. Woo, lordy. And you have to pay to even lease that one, too. Wow. In fact, you have to pay to lease all of those other ones. Okay, well, we're going to be sticking with old <laughs> Arnold for quite some time, I think. Oh, man, it's still painful to me, though, that we had to give up 107 ounces, but that's the way it works, right? Uh, prices are looking really good right now, uh, too. So hopefully that trend keeps on, uh, keeps on keeping on. It does, you know. You guys told me in the comments, or I think you told me in the comments. Somebody told me, or I, I found out from somewhere that, you know, you have to start selling your gold to stimulate the market, and that does appear to be the case. Um, so it's good to know. All right. Well, we have one hundred eighty-eight thousand dollars. I think. Really, the only thing I would like to purchase at... Oh, man, we got the lag bug. At this point in time is the really nice light. So that when we're working in the dark, I can see what in the world I'm doing. Um, otherwise, other than, you know, continuing to mess, fix the parts that keep breaking on us. I You know, and, and I think that's cool, really, when it comes down to it, because... That's real, realistic. And so those rollers, they all kind of wore out at roughly the same time, and that makes sense. So it's kind of cool. I just don't know what else is going to wear out next. Now, I could go around with my my um, analyzer doohickey. Uh, what's this thing called? Part analyzer. I thought this was a hammer at first, but it's actually not. It kind of looks like one. And see what, what's coming next. But, I mean, I'm not familiar enough with the game or familiar enough with all of the parts to really know that so for now you know we're just fixing it as as it breaks i was kind of wanting this big electric water pump but i don't think we need that right now the diesel pump's doing just fine and it doesn't use fuel that quickly so you know we might eventually upgrade to that but i'm not going to do that right now uh, but this is what i want to get this light system trailer look at that man that's going to give us some serious light so this guy costs nine grand we can afford that let's do it all right, and uh, while I'm here, the thing that breaks the most are these hydraulic hoses. So I'm going to purchase like four more of those. I think I have one back at the base. The magnetite separator hose, let's buy one of those too, just because it's probably going to break soon. But, I mean, I, I could sit here and try and guess, but... I don't know if that's worth my time. I don't want to buy an extra bunch of extra stuff that we're not necessarily going to need, you know, uh, anytime soon. So we did already replace the trommel chain once. What What's that? Wash plant engine fan belt. Oh, this leg is terrible. Reinforced trommel roller. So, yeah, uh, I already have a spare fuel filter, so we're good to go on that. So let's just keep going and, you know, we'll, like I said, we'll replace stuff as it breaks. And, you know, the thing that sucks, though, and I mentioned this before, is that 
did I not buy my light? Oh, I guess I didn't buy it. <laughs> I was going to say, hey, where's my light trailer? Is that a lot of times when I get a breakdown, we get a doggone lightning storm and I can't order it from the base after I paid $20,000 to be able to do that. And I still have to come over here. So it's a little frustrating. Ah, but, you know, nothing's ever easy, right? It's just the way life is, I guess. Just the way life is, especially when you're gold mining. Um, I need to throw those in the recycle thingy. Yeah, I, I can tell you, hands down, I've replaced more hydraulic hoses than anything else so far in my short career as a gold miner in this game. So these things go out frequently. And, you know, because you got them on your your vehicles, but you also have them on your equipment, too. Like, I had the hydraulic hose go out on the shaker, I think it was. I should probably just restart the game to get rid of that lag. It's so frustrating. It doesn't usually become a problem until I go to the blacksmith. So there's something... Whoops. <laughs> Wreck your $10,000 light cart, why don't you? Um... Okay, break off. Easy, easy. There you go. It doesn't seem to happen until I go to the blacksmith, and then it just screws up my graphics for some reason. All right, guys, we are back at the base. And uh, I got the light here, so I'm not sure how bright this thing is going to be, but we want it to light everything up down there. So why don't we... Try it right here. <laughs> Let's see how this works. And, you know, as it gets, of course, brighter in the day, I guess we'll pretend like we're putting those down and chalking the wheels on this, I guess. Um, you know, we can turn it off. But uh, let's just see how much light it... Uh, oh, shit. Yowzers! <laughs> it's a good thing those are anchored, huh? Okay, that just... That didn't happen. You guys didn't see anything. Nothing to see here. Move along. Uh, anyway, <laughs> all right, turn that off. Turn the lights off so you don't run the battery down, for goodness sakes. Okay, I just want to see what kind of light we're talking about here. So uh, I had to put fuel in here. I thought this ran off of power from the generator, but it actually has fuel. So I stopped by the gas station and put some fuel in it. So... It's a pretty decent amount of light. Now, can we actually... What does eject and slide mean? Does that mean... I don't know what that's doing. Did the, Does this work? Oh, yeah, that works. That's cool. Okay, what about this? Oh, look at this. Nice. So you can you can rotate it while you're digging, and then when you're washing at night, you can turn it on. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's turn it off for the moment. So... I'm assuming eject probably means eject the light so you can fix them, maybe? I'm not really sure. It doesn't tell me. And I don't know what slide means either. But pivot pivot, and change distance makes sense. And then that's going to be really nice to have. Okay, cool. I'm glad we, we bought that. Okay, let's go take a look at our worker situation. So I have um, brought up on my uh, on my other monitor here the update when they came out with it that it kind of talks a little bit about the workers, but it doesn't really uh, doesn't really give any more information than the game itself does. So the way these these guys work now, as I understand, is they don't make you money directly anymore like they used to, but they just make your equipment and stuff more efficient. So it says the mechanic, a tier one mechanic slowly repairs your most destroyed equipment at the high cost of maintenance. So I'm, and a tier two does it faster and a tier three does it even faster. Um, I 
Oh, I see. Okay, so as you start to assign people up here, this is this tells you what your performance and stuff is. That's kind of neat. Um, so I guess what I don't understand is do I have to have spare parts for the mechanic to repair things? It doesn't say that. It, all it says is slowly repairs your most destroyed equipment at the high cost of maintenance. So if it's repairing a destroyed part, that doesn't mean he's replacing it with a new one. He's repairing it. That's the way I interpret that. So, uh, okay, so this is a 30% mechanic. That's a 24% mechanic. He's a hog pen. Uh, he's a 28% mechanic. He's a hog pen sluice box and a hog pen container. Two hog pen container guys. Okay. Well, that's a lot of money to pay out every day, but if he's... If that means that I'm not, I have less downtime for repairs because, you know, their stuff is breaking all the time now, it'd probably be worth it. What I, but like I said, I don't know if I'm supposed to have parts on hand for him. So let's just hire that guy and we'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. Okay, so we have a 16% tier one hog pan container guy. And a 33%. So definitely we want this guy. So what it says about the hog pen. Um, hog pen container. Tier 1 is 25% hog pen performance. So does that mean it works faster or it gets better gold or more gold? Because if it works faster, that means it's going to be done before the rest of the plant's done, which you know, isn't really helping us, I guess. I'm going to assume that means it gets a little more gold. And so, okay, so let's hire this guy. And then the hog pan sluice box, tier one auto swaps mosses per sluice box. Ooh, that could be useful because, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to have some extra mosses, but he could be swapping those out. Okay, so let me think about this. If if the 25% hog pen performance does in fact mean it goes faster, then this guy, when it, you know, when the, the first one fills up, this guy could swap the mosses and keep it going, if that's what that means. Having him auto swap mosses on the plant is not super useful only because the plant pretty much, you know, everything pretty much fills up at the same exact time. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. He's 37% though. Well, all right, well, let's hire him and just see what he does. Okay, so let's see who we got now. Or no, hired. All right, so our mechanic, Alvar... Alvaro Persley, solar repairs your most destroyed equipment at the high cost of maintenance. Okay, so do I have to assign him to something? Mechanical solar repair your most damaged parts on parcel he is assigned to. Oh, so just any... Okay, so that means in general I don't assign him to something specific. Okay, so he's assigned. All right, now uh, this is the hog pen container guy. I don't know which one is which. <laughs> How am I supposed to know which one's which? Uh, I guess we'll just assign him to the first one. 8.33% to hog pan performance. Oh, they must have changed that because the website says 25%. Okay, well, let's assign him. And then... Um, the sluice box guy auto swaps mats on sluice box when they are full. This is good though, because then we have more slots for hog pan mats. So that's really good there, but this part, not sure how useful that's going to be, but what I'll do is I'll buy four extra hog pan mats and we'll just see what happens. Uh, but let's go ahead and assign him. Uh, wait, what? 
Here, no, this guy. Okay, so we'll assign him to that. Okay, there we go. So we're back to paying out money every day, but you know, you gotta you gotta spend money to make money. You know how that goes. I, I wanna get going on these workers. I wanna see you know how effective and stuff they are. Okay, so let's see, we got that taken care of. I'm I'm guessing that we're gonna need some more hog pan mats. So let's just buy I mean they're not that expensive, right? So uh I think we want parts for that. No, not parts. It's gonna be either equipment or accessories. Probably equipment. Yeah, these are only 30 bucks. So, again, not knowing exactly how that's going to work, let's just buy eight of them because, again, they're not that expensive. And uh, we'll just see how that works. Now, I don't know if I have to have those next to the thing. I'll bet you we do. In fact, you know what we're going to do then? Uh, I wanted to get one of the smaller carrying bins anyway. Uh, this one here. So let's get two of those. Okay. Excellent. All right. Now we'll run over to our little staging area here and grab that stuff. And what we're going to do is we're just going to store these in one of these. The other one I'm going to use for the miners' mosses instead of the big box I've been using just because... It's a little more streamlined. Okay. Uh, pick it up. There you go. All right. So, yeah, we'll have to just start things up and see what happens. Uh, if I if I get through the whole day without having to do any repairs, or at least, you know, fewer than I normally would do, that would be fantastic. It would make sense, you know, that we would have to have the parts on hand, but again, it, it it seems to indicate that they repair the parts, they don't replace them, in which case it didn't wouldn't make sense to do that. So uh, I'm going to put this just right in the middle, but is there any way that I can know which one of these has the worker assigned to them? Hmm. I have no idea how I can figure that out, so... Yeah, I got to put all this stuff back together, too. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to um, get started with a, a new day of mining here. We are sitting at $178,000, and we want to shoot uh, for 600000 so we can buy this parcel so we quit paying old Arnold so much gold. That guy's got a racket going on, man. <laughs> can't believe that we paid him 107 ounces of gold. That's crazy. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to let you guys go in this episode, and uh, I'll start up the next episode with an update on where we are, and we will go from there. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.